we will discuss the overall complete solution for markov statistical model for information source so basically markov source is represented in graphical form okay so where the states are uh, represented by these nodes and of the graph and the transition between the states is represented by the directed lines okay from the initial to final state so here suppose from 1 to uh, 2 there will be a transition then 1 will be a source and 2 will be a receiver over there so is that clear with the markov so whenever we talk about the independent or uh, dependent sequence so we follow the markov statistical model so for markov statistical model we have certain formulas which are see here the entropy for markov source is calculated by this h i is equal to summation of j is equal to 1 p i j log to the base 2 1 upon i j here i j will be the conditional probability the average entropy is uh, calculated by h is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to n p i h i probability that source is in this state and the average information content per symbol the uh, g n 1 by n summation of p upon uh, sorry p uh, probability of m i log to the base 2 1 upon m i here what is the n so n is the length the m i is the probability of a sequence m i of n symbols from the source so here we will directly start with this example here what is asked the information source graph is given find the following source entropy and average information content of symbol g1 g2 and g3 respectively so first of all we will uh, work with the source entropy so this is what the graph is given now according to the graph we will going to calculate the source entropy the formula for source entropy is h is equal to i to n pi hi so hi how we are going to calculate the hi so here first to calculate the source entropy we need to calculate the entropy for all sources how many sources we have one as well as two is the source so total two sources we have so first of all we will talk about the h1 so here how to find the h1 so basically according to this graph the h1 will having uh, the transition for itself and one for two so from this i am going to draw this tree from uh, 1 to 1 is one transaction and 1 to 2 is the another transaction so from this i am going to write the h1 is equal to p11 means p11 log to the base 2 1 upon p11 plus p12 log to the base 2 1 upon p12 okay so just insert the values here so what is the value here here 3 by 4 log to the base 2 1 upon 3 by 4 means okay how jayega? 4 by 3 plus 1 upon 4 log to the base 2 4 is equal to so what we will get after calculation the result will be 0 0.8112 bits per symbols so further we will calculate the h2 okay similarly i have calculated h2 by putting by drawing uh, assuming this tree and putting these values into the formula i have got h2 and now we comes to again entropy of a source so to calculate the entropy of a source the formula is h is equal to summation i to 2 pi hi so pi means what if we talk about the p1 so the probability is given here the 1 by 2 and for p2 also 1 by 2 so here i'm going to put the probability for this and the value of h1 plus 1 by 2 into the value of h2 so what is the total probability 
entropy I have get is h is equal to 0.8112 bits per symbol so this is how, how we are going to calculate the source entropy okay now we will move towards the second step in which we need to calculate average information contained per symbol g1 g2 g3 so what is g1 g2 g3 here so basically one is 2 and 3 is the length means if your symbol is only a it means the length is 1 if symbol is a a then length is 2 if symbol is a a a then it will be length is 3 so this is how we are going to calculate so initially what we need to do we need to draw the tree diagram for the given graph so from this graph i'm going to draw the tree diagram so first we will take the example only for g1 whenever we draw the tree diagram so tree, tree diagram is always drawn as per the symbol source so here number of sources are two means we will going to draw the two tree diagrams okay if number of symbols sources will be three then three tree diagrams will be drawn here so we will start with the initial state that is yeah here suppose your one one is your source from i'm just giving you example how we are going to draw it so from one how the transition is goes again one to one there is one transaction so one to one there is one transaction then one to two is the another transaction and the probability for one to one is three by four and the symbol is a the probability for one to two is symbol c and probability is one by four like this like this i'm going to draw the remaining tree diagram see this is how i have drawn this tree from the given graph so what i have done d for g1 means the length is only one so i have drawn only one to one and one to two now from source one the probability of source one is also required so it is one by two uh, then again uh, when it is said like we need to also find out the g2 so the, we will go to next step otherwise if only we need to find g1 then we will stop here by this stage by next stage again find the transaction 1 to 1 1 to 2 from this uh, graph similarly 2 to 1 and 2 to 2 so 2 to 1 and 2 to 2 it, this, this, this is what for g2 because length of symbol is 2 when suppose c b is there c c is there a a is there a c is there so this is 2 bit symbol on the next stage what we need to find g3 also g3 we need to find so for g3 also what we will do we will go, go to next stage so it is again similarly one to one transition is there one to two transition is there similarly i have found this tree g3 now draw similar tree for two means here source is one now i will draw it for source two here i have drawn a uh, same tree diagram for source two as we have already done for one g1 g2 g3 and here also for g1 g2 g3 respectively so now from this tree diagram what we are going to calculate this we we are going to calculate the probability on each occurrence of the symbol means probability for g1 so length of symbol is length of message is 1 so 1 means 1 to 1 transition so a is occurred means 1 to 2 transition so c is occurred so similarly here we will check for 2 to 1 transition c is occurred likewise so uh, so here along with the identifying we are going to write so message m1 means from 1 to 1 when a is occurred so we will write a the probability for this symbol is 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 into source the probability of source so here we are going to multiply it by probability of source means 1 similarly the next symbol we get is C the probability for 1 by 2 is C is 1 by 4 into the probability of source is 1 by 2 now 
here 2 to 1 again we will get we are getting c so c is already there so we will neglect it again x is 2 to 2 what we are getting here is symbol b and d probability is 3 by 4 so symbol b probability is 3 by 4 multiplied by 1 by 2 so after these calculations what will be the probability for this a is 3 by 8 here the probability is again similar uh, calculation is there or not no so here is 1 by 4 and here is 3 by so similarly for the second source what we are getting is C A so C A the probability for C A will be calculated like uh, 3 by 4 into 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 similarly after C A what we are getting C C but C C is already there so we will ignore it likewise we will do it Likewise, we will do it for the another sequence. The video has become something, some lengthy, but the problem is actually a lengthy problem. So that's why it is getting lengthy. So for this, the sequence is A, A, A is generating here. A, A, A. So probability how? 3 by 4, 3 by 4. So how we are going to calculate probability? 3 by 4, 3 by 4, 3 by 4 into 1 by 4. by 2 similarly the next sequence is generating a a c so here i'm going to write a a c and what will be the result the oh, sorry the a a c 3 by 4 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 okay so this is how we will continue it so after doing all this calculation and preparing this table now i'm going to find out the value of g1 gn so gn means g1 g2 and g3 respectively so we will start with g1 so first of all by the point n means the value of n is 1 here so summation of p of mi log to the base 2 1 upon p of mi okay so here the, when the length is one whatever the symbols and messages are generated we will put the probability of these means what is generated there by a b and c so what we will do one by one by one is one so the probability of mi means for the first one a what is the probability generation is there three by eight so three by eight log to the base two 1 upon 3 by 8 means what will be it will become 8 by 3 plus plus the probability for this symbol occurrence is p we will again take the 3 by 8 log to the base 2 uh, again it will become 8 by 3 plus 1 by 4 log to the base 2 will become 4 the after doing calculation you will get 1.5612 bits per symbol similarly we will find the value for g2 this is for the g1 now we will find for g2 so for g2 1 upon 2 the summation how many symbols we are getting right number here p of mi log to the base 2 1 upon p of mi so how many symbols we get here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so here we will write 1 by 2 probability of first symbol occurrence is 9 by 32 so 9 by 32 log to the base 2 32 by 9 plus 
थ्री बाय थर्टी टू थ्री बाय थर्टी टू लॉक टू दी बेस टू थर्टी टू बाय थ्री प्लस टू बाय थर्टी टू टू बाय थर्टी टू लॉक टू दी बेस टू थर्टी टू बाय टू And here the three by thirty two comes again three times. So I'm going to writing the this three by two multiplied by four. And again nine by thirty two is also coming one more time. So one nine by thirty two two times coming. So multiplied by two. So here what is the result? So similarly, I have calculated the value for G2, which comes 1.28, and for G3, 1.139. So this is how we are going to find out the sequence for G1, G2, G3. Hope you all understand. Thank you.